Okay, I'm back. <laughs> my camera has stopped recording. I did measure my hair. I did. I did a length check finally. And in the front, it is the front, it is five inches long. On the sides is four and a half. And the back is three. And then the top it is four and a half inches. Like right here is four and a half inches. And so, um, oh, I know. I also wanted to talk to you guys about what I did use my regimen before I go. For, because I don't, like I stated earlier, I do not shampoo my hair regularly. I only shampoo on an as need basis. So sometimes it might be a month, a month and a half. Just whenever you feel like your scalp needs to be cleansed. So if it feels itchy, irritable, or sometimes if it might feel like it's hot, you know, flames on fire, you need to cleanse your scalp honey and so when I do shampoo um it's typically the same as with my cold wash that so I don't use a cold wash I use a shampoo in place of that so when I come home from work I typically start with my coconut oil and I picked this up at Burlington it's like what it was $5.99 but I've had this thing for like three months now it's like halfway gone and I'll put out um this finger detangle my hair and I'll put it the coconut oil all over my hair and I'll put them in two strand twists like you see me doing now and then I'll sit with a, pla a, a plastic cap and then my conditioning cap on top and um, I'll leave that sitting on my hair for probably like 30 minutes it just all depends on how long I want it to but while I'm pre pulling I will do a hot oil treatment I have learned that that's the best time to do a hot oil treatment is when I'm um my wash days and typically while i am pre pulling because when i try to do the hot oil treatment after i've co-washed my hair it's, it doesn't work that way you guys it just it, it feels funny on your hair it really does this stuff is extra thick and if you do it afterwards you basically have to shampoo your hair all over you and you don't want to do all that so put the um jamaican black castor oil on your hair heat it up I just put some in here and I'll sit it in a cup of water for probably like a minute and then I just go through and you know put it on my scalp and kind of massage it in and then put both of the caps on and condition. So after that I will um, then co-wash but I leave my hair in a two strand twist. So while I'm rinsing my hair before I put the conditioner on you know I'm in there and I'm rinsing you know my scalp and everything off trying to I don't try to rinse all the coconut oil off my hair I try to rinse my scalp morning I try to cleanse my scalp put the coconut oil on to help retain having some kind of natural oils in your hair because when you're rinsing and washing your hair you're stripping your hair of its natural oil so that's why you do the pre poo to add oil back to your hair so that way it won't dry out and be brittle and everything after washing and doing all that stuff so after i rinse my scalp out pretty well i'll go on with the co-wash and so i'll just massage it in my scalp i start from the scalp and i mean massage you guys you have to massage your scalp and not with your fingernails with the balls of your fingers and you just massage it massage it massage it and if you feel like after you've did the co-wash one time and then rinse it out and it feels like your scalp is clean do it again do it in the areas where you feel like you didn't get it the first time and then rinse it out so then i will take a t-shirt a cotton t-shirt i do not use a regular towel you guys to dry my hair i use a cotton t-shirt just whatever kind of t-shirt you want to use you don't have to buy no fancy one i just grabbed one out of my thing and i just made it my t-shirt for when i wash my hair for drying so um i would like pretty much pat my hair and all this stuff down and everything trying not to i don't try to take all the um moisture i don't try to take all the water off my hair i still want my hair pretty much damp because then i go in with a um i go in with the deep conditioner and i use the eden's um body works um curl defining deep conditioner i think that's what's called something like that but it's from the eden body works um hairline and it's a deep conditioner and that stuff is amazing it has like peppermint in it, you guys and if you do not know about peppermint honey it will keep your scalp from itching i'm telling you it helps along with the jamaican black castor oil you guys that stuff is like phenomenal so um i'll put the um coat i'll put the deep conditioner all over my hair putting them back in a two strand twist because while you're washing you guys this is the time to also to tangle your hair so that when you go to style it makes it easier so i'll just 
if it's still a two strand twist i'll take it down and then um i take two strand twist down i'll put the um the conditioner in and i'll detangle it and then i'll comb it through so that way each strand can be fully covered and make sure too you guys when you i don't know if people realize this or not but when you're deep conditioning don't just apply it to your hair the strands you need to actually apply it to your scalp too because it take care of your, of your roots you know your, the hair at the ends that's the deadest those those are like that's your oldest hair not the deadest i'm sorry that's your oldest hair and the hair coming from your scalp is the new hair so you have to make sure that you take care of that as well in order to see any length you know because with being natural your hair is going to shrink up so you know people think you know you're going to be like oh i don't see any length but you have length honey it's just shrunken just like how you see mine it's like look just goes right back up to it so with that i'll put the conditioner on and i mean i load that conditioner on honey my hair my whole head is pretty much white okay when i put this conditioner on so i'll put the cap the regular shower cap back on or whatever and then i'll put my deep conditioning cap back on and i sit under the dryer for like at least a good 30 minutes because you know with a deep conditioner you know you need some kind of heat so we can get your um get your hair follicles to raise so that way the deep conditioner can penetrate your hair so that way it can retain the moisture because once you rinse your hair out after deep conditioning you guys that's when your hair follicles start to close and that's the critical point in styling that's when it's time for you to make sure that you add moisture back to your hair so once once i've sat under the dry for about 15 to 30 minutes um, I'll rinse out my deep conditioner with cool water like and I'll try to get it as cool as I can stand it You know don't have it ice cold you guys where you're, you you just freeze and don't like don't do that to yourself Like set the temperature to where it's not warm really per se But it's just like right there the borderline of being really cold and so um Because it'll help lay your hair follicles down and help retain the deep condition that you've already put on your hair you guys the heat and cold and the hair follicles up and down and closing you guys it can be pretty confusing but you'll once once you figure out your hair regimen it gets easier and so um what's i'm rinsing my now while i'm rinsing my hair out you guys i do not take down my two strand twist this is the time where i take my time with rinsing my hair because i have done all that detangling and all that and retwisting to make sure that my hair stays in these twists so that when I go in for styling, it's so easy where I can just take twists down and put my products on and retwist it. It's so much easier that way, you guys. I promise you, it will save you so much time. Like, it used to take me an hour to style. Now it takes me 30 minutes. But, well, today is long because I'm talking to you guys. But, while I'm under the sink, or, you know, under the faucet, um, I'll, like, take each strand and I'll kind of, like, you know, just kind of, like, squeeze them a little bit. You know, just to kind of get the water to work through it. And um, you pretty much feel when all the deep conditioner is out, you know, because you'll feel like your actual hair won't feel like it has product on it. And so after that, um, I t-shirt dry my hair again and like I'll wrap it around. I just pat my hair so that way I don't disturb the twist. And then I go back in with my coconut oil, back to the coconut oil. And then I will use a lot of body with coconut and shea oils, wrap me foamy mousse. This is the bomb. This is the bomb, honey. Next to the olive oil um, hair mousse by ORS that I used to use all the time. You guys, a lot of body, honey. Y'all have a phenomenal product, honey. I haven't tried all the other stuff that y'all have, but... um. I see a lot of people get reviews and people get the um, Coco Teak boxes. They get those monthly subscriptions. And I know one month, um, a few of my um, YouTubers that I follow, that, I, that I'm subscribed to, they use a lot of butter products and it is off the chain. So once I feel like I'm ready to, you know, purchase those, I will, you guys, because I'm just, I'm really type where I like to use the products that I already have and then I'll buy some more. And then I go in with the Curls Goddess Curls Botanical Gel. This is the hair gel I use. Um, I see a lot of people use the Eco Styler Gel. But when I was relaxed, I used to use it. And then when I started transitioning, I was still trying to use it. But it, it made my scalp itch. So I just had to stop using it completely. And I used to love that hair gel. It's not that I didn't like it. It's just my, my hair just didn't like it anymore. My scalp just couldn't take it, I guess. So now I just use the Curls. And it's phenomenal. And I also use their... Um, 
passion fruit curl control paste to lay my edges down honey this is the second one i haven't even opened it yet i will soon know but um as far as putting oil on my scalp you guys um i use the eden body works um all natural hair oils the peppermint tea tree oil i'm sorry you guys i kind of um rubbed the stuff off because that's just how much i've been using it and as a kid my mom used to use a peppermint tea tree oil product and it wasn't by eating body works you guys i can't remember who it was but i remember it coming in a container it was like white and green and and my mom used to buy it all the time and she would use it on my hair and my scalp would never itch so i started going back to that and so you guys that's pretty much all that i use like I'm not a, like I said, I'm not a, pro, pro, a product junkie. <laughs> I just use what I know works best for my hair. And I mean, it's cool and all if you try different products, but you have to remember too, with using a lot of different products on your hair, that's still a form of manipulation. And you want to try not to manipulate your hair so much because then you'll start to see your hair drying, frizzing, breaking up breaking not breaking up but breaking you know and just basically damaging your hair so you just have to keep in mind with being natural your hair is really natural and it's in its normal state uh -oh, being natural you know you just have to learn your hair the focus of what i'm just trying to get across to you guys is just that you know but being natural it teaches you a lot it does it teaches you to embrace your hair it teaches you you know what it is to be natural it teaches you to embrace your natural beauty like <coughs> excuse me even with going natural you guys like i used to wear my makeup all the time you know like and i really haven't been wearing my makeup like i used to have i used to get my nails done all the time you guys i haven't gotten my nails done in months and in all honesty i'm fine with that because my nails have actually gotten healthier and um so i guess i just don't want to mess with them i just don't want to you know damage them like i had all those years with getting my nails done you guys and i mean i was an avid person an avid customer with getting my nails done like, being becoming a natural you guys it taught me to start naturally embracing my beauty so you know i have natural blemishes and scars and my face is not perfect nobody's perfect my body's not perfect but once you start to learn to embrace yourself you guys it just opens up a world of possibilities it'll just help you to just it helps you change your way of thinking really and if that's just how being natural has has changed my life in in certain aspects of it you know and it's a beautiful thing you guys and i just hope that whoever is watching this video <clears throat> Tierra, if you're watching i just hope that it just inspires you you know because i mean you know and i plus you know people sometimes have reasons why they want to go natural but they feel like they can't you know sometimes it's their career sometimes especially being in the military but there are a lot of natural females in the military i see it every day when i go to work so you know and they have their hair curly they have the afro and everything like that but it's pretty they keep it together you know you can actually tell that they take care of their hair or they're done a wash and go and that's fine but it's suitable for them in uniform so yeah you guys that's just all i really had to say i just thank you guys for you know watching um being subscribed to my channel i just hope that with this video you know i just hope i just inspire somebody to who is ever considering going natural or if you are even considering transitioning you can just go back and look at all my previous videos i'll put the links down below in the, in the description box with what i did along in my trans transitioning journey and how i have grown you guys thanks for watching lovies i hope you guys enjoyed this video with me some feels and crazy we're trying to do my hair but um I just had to share my update with you guys because I have been enjoying my natural journey, you guys. And I just hope that I inspire someone today. So, I love you guys. Be blessed. And I will see you soon in another video, you guys. Bye. <laughs>